Hey guys, uh, today is Tuesday, September 23rd, and I've had a couple of people ask me about my journey, how it all got started, how I got to be how I was before, and how I got to be how I am now. And I just wanted to be a bit more specific and make a video to tell you all about what happened. First of all, my heaviest, I was about 447 pounds, size 64 pants, 5XL shirts, and I uh, basically got that way by eating a lot, drinking a lot of soda, and never being active. I would, uh, growing up, I would go to school, come home, eat a lot, watch TV, play video games. As an adult, I would go to work, come home, eat a lot, drink a lot of soda, watch a lot of TV, again. The cycle continued as an adult, just replaced school with work. I never changed my eating habits, and that's how I got as big as I was. As far as my eating habits, I would eat a lot in one sitting. If I ate Subway, it would be two footlongs. If I ate Mexican food, it would be six or seven tacos. If I ate ramen noodles, it would be five bags. I mean, hamburgers, I would eat three or four burgers, or a triple, or just... I would eat a lot, like a pizza, I would eat a whole large stuffed crust pizza and still get a slice from the pizza that I got for my wife and daughter. And then of course the soda. I would drink at least 100 ounces a day with the jug I had from the gas station and just stay up every night playing video games, never doing anything active. That's how I got as big as I was. Now as far as changing, I know that it can be hard. Sometimes it takes something drastic to make us accept what we already know we should do as far as changing our lives for the better, changing for our health. And uh, that thing for me was um, back in 2011, I injured my back at work, bending over to pick up a vacuum. I asked if it mattered that I didn't pick it up, which of course didn't matter because I was in the process of working. But loss prevention took that as me not being sure it was work-related and didn't file the workman's comp. And long story short, I kept missing work because of my back pain. I couldn't get muscle relaxants because I had sleep apnea and I kept missing work. Even though I had been going to the doctor, my doctor's excuses didn't excuse me because I didn't notify my job 24 hours in advance. Uh, eventually they told me if I miss work, come in late or leave early, one time, no matter what, in the next six months, I was going to be fired. December 30th, 2011, I went into work, threw up in the parking lot, still went into work, not feeling good, felt lightheaded, dizzy, like I wanted to faint. I went to go sit down. A uh, store manager told me I had to go home. She didn't know about the ultimatum I received, and I told her, and then her response was, the way I see it, the moment you walked off the sales floor, you left early. They tried saying that because I wasn't there long enough for a break, the moment I went to the break room to sit down, it was work abandonment and they were trying to keep me from getting my $300 vacation pay. Well, I got the vacation pay, but still, beside the point, I lost my job and I realized that even if I got another job, it would be the same thing. I would have the same issue. So I started eating less at first. A few months later, I decided to go to the gym because of a friend of mine who had me go with her to go check it out and we both signed up that weekend. So, you know, I, I changed. I realized that I had to change for my family because if I can't keep my job, who's gonna provide for my family? When you think about just yourself, it's kind of hard. You have to think about others. Because when I was thinking about just myself, you, you would think that the fact that I needed my wife's help to change my shoe, to put on my left shoe, would be enough. Or the fact that I needed to prop my arm against the wall to be able to wipe myself or wash myself would be enough. But it wasn't. It wasn't until my family's well-being came into play that I realized I had to change. I started eating less. Then I started working out, eating right. In a week, I lost 19 pounds. In a month, I lost, was it 35? Two months, I lost 50. Three months, I lost 83. By five months, I lost 120. And by 18 months, I lost 193 pounds. 
as weak as I was, I accomplished a lot. You can do it too. You have it in you to change for the better. Look beyond what your limitations are. You know yourself best. You know that you can do it. And I'm here to inspire you, to inform you, to push you, to believe in you. That you can do it. Well, I've got a few seconds left before my phone stops recording. And I will see you on the next video. Don't stop believing. Don't stop moving forward. And I'll see you later. Bye.